your source of income. In that way, we could recommend the abolition of that TOCC. It's really it takes time. I'm not against the PNO SRC, except, except that I've heard that um, some pro not this administration, previous projects did not go through bidding with government institutions who were recipients. So remember, the government institutions, for example, COA, DBM, uh, UP, nagagaling din sa gobyerno, sa kongreso, ang earmarking ng kanilang mga proyekto. That's taxpayers' money. And assuming, let's say, yung kuryenteng binibigay ng PNOCRC ay 9 pesos. Kung merong available na kalahating 5 pesos, Okay lang yun kasi government to government? No, I, I don't agree with you. That's, that's against, the, against our, again, the mandate of GCG is really, there must be competitive neutrality between uh, GOCCs and private company. If they're violating to that, that is one of the conditions where we uh, could Sir, there is competitive neutrality. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah. you please explain that as part of your mandate, yeah. as part of your oversight function of every GOCC? Uh, Based on our uh, mandate, if there is a private entity who could perform that duty and it's not really uh, the outcomes, it's not uh, good for the public, in a way, we could uh, examine again their mandate and if the studies are given to us based on our, uh, we could recommend for their abolition. Yes. Could I just kindly request the GCG to look into the PNOCRC? This is not personality oriented. It's not the present administration. It was even former, former Senator Osmeña who used to say this during the hearings. No? Can you just ask them to submit to you and you submit to the committee their contracts, if there was any bidding with their uh, contracts for the past um, three years? Yes. Uh, we will for do DBM? That. Five years, DBM, COA, UP. How much per kilowatt hour was the uh, renewable energy they sold, the solar system? What are the terms? First of all, was there a CSP, okay, okay. A, a bidding, competitive selection process? Okay. Number uh, two, how much per kilowatt hour? Third, uh, did they actually shut out the private sector? Um, if there was no CSP, obviously, it was a negotiated contract. They shut out the private sector. So what is the legal basis for shutting out the private sector? Were they the least cost? Yeah. If they were the least cost, well and good. But if they are a higher cost, what is the justification yeah. for that? That's really the violation of competitive neutrality. Correct. Yes. yes. So I will just, um, um, I will approve the budget of AMLAC. It is not, I'm not against you or GCG. I would just hold, withhold first your budget, can you kindly submit that and meet with PNOCRC? I have nothing against whoever is ahead now. I think it's um, Mr. Arenas. His mother is my friend. No, I'm just looking into the past. Yes, yes. Because it was former Senator Osmeña who, who uh, I heard that every year he would be against that. He mm. would always say, why are you competing with the private sector and shutting out the private sector? Um, because they don't get their budget from us, right? Yeah. It's internally generated. So they, I don't have oversight over them, but you have oversight over yeah. them. In fact, we went to our office two weeks ago, and uh, I found out that most of their projects are with government. Government? Yeah, in no, fact, Which is are good. No, okay on government, okay green buildings, but are they giving it at a competitive price? Yeah, yeah. Second, do they actually implement it or do they bid it out to the private sector? If they bid it out to the private sector, because I know they don't have the technical capability, there are no engineers and no foremen and no civil engineers, nothing. So why are we creating a corporation of middlemen so that the GAA allocation will be double the cost? Yes, you yes. understand what I mean? Uh, can you ask them, are they an EPC? Do they do procurement? Do they do construction? Do they do engineering? Wala eh. They are technocrats na sinusweldohan ng gobyernong malalaki. Bakit ganun? Pag malaman na presidente yan. Yes. So, what is the reason for being? I sound like Sergio Smeña, but he was like this uh, five years ago, and I could not understand why he was agitated. So, are they an EPC? Now, if they bid it out to the private sector, Bakit hindi na lang ang UP ang mag-bid out sa private sector? Ba't dadaan pa sa isang government corporation para pasuelduhan yung mga malalaking mga manager? 
o mga technocrat. Bakit? Hindi ba? Yes, yes. Why are they a legitimate middleman that would cost more expensive electricity to government structures? Do I not make sense? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. sir. And I, I informing you, Madam Senator, that... It was during the time of Mr. Gatmaitan. Yeah, and yeah. just on the record, he's my friend. He's the son of my medical doctor. But it's just that... It's just so... Uh, not anomalous, but it's just funny that there is a creation, uh, th this corporation that is um, acts as a middleman. It also sells service contracts, from what I hear. I'm not sure it is accurate. That's why I'm asking the GCG, which is oversight function on the PNOCRC. So my question is, how many more GOCCs act like this? Yeah, that's why uh, we're looking on this. One of our uh, commitment to the Philippine Development Plan is really the about competitive neutrality. We're trying, in fact, uh, this uh, corporation are one of those targeted because of this competitive neutrality violation. Okay. Can you kindly explain in layman's terms what competitive neutrality is? And is that enshrined in any law? Or is that enshrined in the law creating the JCG? Yes, yes. Just, uh, no, explain. You don't have to read anything, yeah, sir. The, the ano po yung ibig sabihin ng competitive okay, neutrality? Yeah, Para lang maintindihan ko. It's not, uh, it's really doing business in competition with the private entities, yeah. which more capable uh, exactly. in resources, in technology, and manpower, and which can be serviced really by the private sector. Why they are Government right? exists for a healthy uh, economic business environment. Yeah, yeah. Government should not, tatagalogin ko, hindi dapat balakid ang pamahalaan sa pag-asenso ng pribadong sektor na siyang nakakapagbigay ng trabaho at nakakapagdulot ng economic development. Ngayon, pag nakikipagkupitensya ang gobyerno dahil sakop niya at mas malapit siya sa ibang gobyernong institusyon, ay hindi po tama yun. At lalo na po, Pag hindi siya ang nagpapatupad ng proyekto, middleman siya at pribadong sektor ang hinahire niya. So, doble ang bayad. So, that's disadvantageous to the Filipino taxpayer because we allocate every year capital outlay for green buildings, etc., etc. Eh, mahal pala ang kanilang ginawa. Never mind if they have the capability as EPC. But even if they have the capability, why compete with the private sector when there's so much in the private sector capable? Never mind if they're the only ones of the technology. They don't even have the technology or the expertise, and they are the more expensive ones, and they're shutting out the private sector. So I want the PNOCRC, not this administration. Uh, I'm sure there are career people there, even the past one, to explain. Yun lang alam ko po, COA, DBM, UP. In fact, I will call UP president because sa pag-alaman ko, napakataas nung rate sa UP. And these are non-experts in this field who may not know what they're entering into. Just for the record, I talked to the COA chair. Sabi niya, nako, disallowed kami sa aming ginawa. Sabi ko, magkano ang kuryente niyo? Ang taas eh, 9 pesos. Huh? Eh, 5 pesos na lang eh. Ay, nako, disallowed kami. Sabi ko, you will disallow yourself? You entered into that. So, can you please look? Maybe I'm wrong. And if they gave it at concessionary rates, well and good. I may be wrong. I want to stand corrected because I want to think that PNOCRC is doing its mandate. What is the mandate, ba? To, to uh, I don't even know what is their mandate. It is a subsidiary of the main corporation. Correct, but RC is to, uh, to promote renewable energy. Yes, yes, yes. We already have the RE law. So there's no need to promote renewable energy because laganap na yan eh. All we need to do is just to ease the way of doing business in this country where there's a deadlock or a challenge to every step of the way in, gover in government permitting. It's really a very terrible. We're one of the worst countries in terms of doing business because there's a long, arduous process in getting permits, and that's the reason why there are pending bills for the anti-red tape law and all of that. We love to do commissions and uh, offices and bureaus from barangay to municipality to province to regions after local governments, <coughs> national agencies, and people are always on travel. It is not on their desk. Uh, that's the feedback I get from the private sector. It's really one of the worst countries in the world to conduct business in. That, and that's the reason why there are fixers, why there's corruption in government. Because 
We make it such a long process and arduous, so the, necessi nece the necessity for fixers happens. That's why there's corruption. And we don't like that. So uh, I will just um, hold in abeyance your budget, not because of any reasons for you, just so that I can ask more questions on other GOCCs similar to PNOCRC. Again, I have nothing against a GCG. In fact, I'm glad you're there. So there's an oversight function over GOCCs. Uh, second, uh, I have nothing against those sitting in uh, PNOCRC now, uh, although I know them personally. They came from other agencies before. I just want to know what the previous PNOCRC did, uh, continuing where Senator Osmeña left off a few years ago. Your Honor, we submit a document prior to the next. Today is yeah. Wednesday, uh, yeah. before the end of the week. You can actually ask PNOC, uh, since they went to you two weeks ago, to go to your office today to submit all their uh, RC, renewable energy contracts, and if bidding was conducted, how much per kilowatt hour, the locations, and, uh, and, and the, co the contracts, and whether they were the EPC or they subcontracted it. And if they subcontracted it, what's their point of being middleman? We'll do it. Uh, Your Honor. Yeah. Chairman, I just want to know whether I make sense or whether I am being unreasonable. No, Your Honor, because they are really uh, doing something that best for the private sector to do it, in which the pub public will benefit by reason of mm -hmm. uh, it have it uh, with uh, long, shorter time yes. and lower cost. It's the in public interest. Will serve, will serve that uh, okay. purpose, then we as well abolish that GOCC for that purpose. You said they were being targeted. May I clarify what did you mean by that? Because of the, the outcomes of their financial, financials. Uh, really, it's not really, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I see. Because uh, I've, I, every year that I was sitting with the former, with, with, with the former Senator Osmeña, I would hear that. Uh, I did not... Uh, notice it at the time. Um, I'm just continuing where he left off. As I said, uh, it was also the financials is in the red. And not, I see. not really, but uh, in the next five years, if they cannot really improve on their financial and if more of their portfolio is based on government, it's not really performing the mandate. Uh, that's why if that's the case based on our study, they are subject for abolition. I think they need, uh, honestly, I. I there was a move to abolish them before because there's the RE law and let the free market prevail, yeah. right? Let free market prevail. And could you kindly look how many executives are being paid and how much and what are their benefits? Yeah, yeah. Because why do we need, one. why do we need executives who are paid by the hundreds of thousands who are not even engineers who don't know how to build renewable energy projects being paid when the private sector, as I said, is not being paid by government, and that's readily available. Iba. Sino pa po ang sabi niyong tina-target, I mean, using your words, which are similarly situated GOCCs? Who, who hold duplicating functions as a private sector, who are unnecessary in government? Mm, we have NEA, since they have no longer uh, income from irrigation, they are subject for... And, yeah, yeah. yeah or uh, regularization. Another thing is uh, partida development in somewhere in Camarines. Their function is really to provide water and based on the uh, examination of GCG, they really did not perform their function providing potable water to that area despite of the, uh, the, the loan given to that GUCC. We have also the Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation. It's more on, in, uh, more on leasing, leasing of properties. Oh, really? Aerospace should be research-oriented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leasing of properties. Yeah, yeah, yung mga hangar na lang ang giparintahan. Uh, under what is a GOCC? Uh, Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation under the supervision of D DOTR. Uh, don't, all of this, we don't give budgetary provisions, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. Wala po. Wala, wala. Eh, ah, they, they survive because of the rental of their property. Yes. I think they should be abolished. 
uh, for example, this aerospace research. Can you kindly give me, um, get from them? I want to know what kind of aerospace research they've conducted and uh, how much is their income from land use, uh, from rentals, and where does it go to them? Yes, yes, yes. Para magpasweldo sa kanila. Uh, ganyan, if yes. those properties are simply uh, put under the OTR and can be made to good use, right? Yes, yes, it can yes. be internally generated income of DTR or privatized so that there's income. Tama? Yes, yes. 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 Okay, go on. I'm learning from you. Pilsukor, um, Philippine Sugar Corporation. <laughs> Uh, their function is really to procure sugar and it's not longer happening because uh, the Were these not rationalized when the GOCC law was enacted? Uh, the, they are now subject for uh, in this year for approval of abolition. Is it uh, congressional action or kayo no, no, na po na based on GCG law. Ah, talagang meron na kayo mandate because yeah, yeah, yeah. Senator Dilon who created you. Yes, and yeah. um, you are facing out some GOCCs. Yeah. And I see. And where, does, where do the assets of these GOCCs go? Uh, usually based on the document coming from the Office of the President, it might be given back to the supervising agency. Yeah. Some will be turned over to uh, uh, like PMO, Private Management Office, and it, it, the basis will be the memorandum order based on the what is being uh, submitted by GCG to the Office of the President. Maliban po dun sa Phil Sukor, ano pang susunod po? Ano pa? Marami pa yan. Marami. Can you kindly submit to my office? Opo, ano yung, um, hindi bali natanggal na, yung mga inaaral po ninyo. Confidential, I mean, I don't think you want to announce it yet, right? Or unless they know already that they're already being monitored and watched. And it's not their fault because they were created for some reason. But if their reason for being is no longer relevant, then everybody just must must really walk into the sunset, right? Yeah. In fact, presently, we have 27 juices already abolished. The last one is Kidan Core, approved last, last June. And how many more are being studied, sir? More, more than 10. More than and ten. PNOCRC is one of them? Yes, yes. Okay. Within the year? Uh, we'll come up with the study. Okay. okay. Thank you. So what I will do is, I'll just approve your budget, and then I trust, I, and tr I trust that you will give me whatever documents you need. The list of all the GOCCs you are monitoring and um, recommending for closure, and the gains of government if it's closed. Uh, we'll do it. And uh, the specific PNOCRC that uh, I want to see and what are they violating in terms of competitive neutrality? Uh, yes, you Again, are. yung nakaupo po ngayon ay bago. Hindi po silang ibig ko sabihin. Yung mga nakaraang taon, gusto ko makita ang mga pinasukan nilang kontrata. Pero kung meron po sa nakaraang isang taon na hindi rin tama yung mga kontrata, gusto ko lang makita. Kasi baka Patuloy sila ng patuloy lumalapit sa mga korporasyon ng gobyerno, hindi naman po naiintindihan ng mga head ng agency na mahal pala inaalok sa nila porque lang gobyerno, papayag po sila. And that's its advantages to the taxpayer. Yes, Your Honor. But I will approve your budget today. Thank you, Your Honor. Marunong kayo sumagot at saka ano, magalang and very humble si Chairman. Thank you, Your Honor. Bago po kayo. Uh, new Chairman appointed last November. Uh, who was the previous Chairman? Uh, Jose Marie Flores. You were a commissioner before? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Ah, so your career? No, no, no. Appoint, uh, presidential appointee. With which administration? Uh, this administration. You're all three commissioners bago? Yes. Ano yan? Uh, ba are you term or are you uh, uh, coterminous with co the president? Coterminous. Ah, hindi term. Oh. Gaya ng Comelec. Yes. No. We have and two ex officio, Secretary of Finance and Secretary of Budget. And you're under the office of the President? Yes, Your Honor. Who's your supervising secretary under CABSEC office? No, no, no. no. Derecho sa OP? Yes, yes. Who oversees you in the OP? Is it PMS or no? Mm. SAP? Mm. The Se President? Executive directly. Secretary. Ah, ES, under yes. ES office. Okay, understood. Okay. Then I, I think AMLA can go, yes. And GCG, you can go.
Thank you, Your Honor. Mm -mm. Can, can I have your number? your budget subject to your submission i'm sure they will submit it yeah because you i i believe in your sincerity that you're really studying it uh -oh. mm -hmm. so i want to know makano was a safe ng gobierno ganun oh my dear chairman baham what can i do for you good afternoon ma'am yes. kami po ay galing sa games and amusements board mga mababait at magagalang din po <laughs> ay thank you ma'am as of now, ma'am, uh, well, last year we were given 110 million, but it was reduced to, by 3 million this year to 107. However, uh, we have uh, additional revenues for the government, which was not there last year, amounting to about 3 million pesos from cockfighting, football, motocross, and uh, including Dota eSports. And, uh, well, they're on their way out now, but uh, unlike the two other agencies that uh, were ahead of us, we would like to propose for some uh, addition to our budget. Uh, next year, there is a chance for the Philippines to host the World Boxing Convention. Uh, yes, ma'am, uh, we're attending that in uh, October 1, and uh, we're bidding that uh, we host it. It's the most prestigious uh, boxing uh, um, sanctioning body, and uh, we're hoping to have it in the Philippines. As well as uh, creation of 43 plantilla positions, GAB is, uh, is uh, growing with more activities and more funds going into the government. So we will be needing uh, new positions as well as uh, motor vehicles, <laughs> uh, awareness and incentive services excellence uh, program. Uh, of course, additional budget for uh, training, a million pesos. Let's uh, go to the bottom line. Are you asking for additional budget? Yes, ma'am. Uh, from from Can you see the Are you able to spend your budget? Maganda expenditure nila. Ito kasi ang ahensya na hindi ako bihasa eh. So yes, hindi ako makapagtanong masyado. Opo. Dahil hindi ako eksperto sa sports. Ito lang sa, siguro ang field na hindi ako eksperto. Yes, hindi ako maalam masyado. So, what are your needs, um, Chair Bam? No, uh, we'd like to be able to improve uh, our services to our people through regulation and the training and, uh, um, of course, the uh, anti-illegal uh, gambling, which uh, we were only given 1.5 million pesos last year, and we are hoping to get an increase for that so that uh, we can contribute to the administration's uh, trust in uh, going after the uh, anti-illegal gambling. So How can you ever curb or totally eliminate illegal gambling like wetting? Yes, uh, Impossible. Uh, no po administration po is eh. able to do it. Wala rin po kasi kaming naibigay sa aming personnel from the uh, PNP. <coughs> the NBI po ngayon tumutulong sa amin. Tapos nagtatanong sila sa amin kung may budget kami for it. We only have 1.5 million pesos a year. So we're hoping that uh, if uh, there's an increase in the budget for the IGO, we will definitely uh, give you results of the increase in the uh, take of the horse racing as well as uh, yung STL. Ang nangyari man kasi parang hindi maka-operate kasi walang budget. So nasa mandate din sana namin yun. But more on uh, sports regulation po talaga kami. We have uh, offices in uh, Cebu, Davao, Bacolod, Cagayan de Oro, Sambuanga, and uh, we have a few personnel there, and uh, we go around, uh, regulate, <coughs> make sure that uh, there are no mismatches in, uh, in, in boxing, and uh, of course, make sure that uh, uh, boxers are fit to fight. Just recently, uh, we signed a MOA with the Department of Health, giving boxers, professional boxers, free uh, medical checkup, CT scan, and MRI. That's uh, probably one of the. Budget is 108. Uh, as of now, uh, yes. the, the net is 107.8. Uh, 108. 108. Well, kung okay lang po, mag-submit kami ng uh, request namin for another almost 100. Para mag-double naman, ma'am, kung po pwede. 
how will uh, the augmentation in your budget improve your operations? Yes, uh, we, we will mm -hmm. definitely uh, have, uh, well, as of now, there's already an increase in the revenues that we generate because of the uh, increase that you gave us a year ago. Was an increase in this year's budget? In no, ma'am, ma but last year you gave us an increase. 2016? Yes, ma'am. From 2016 to 2017, and as of now, there are still additional na increase then don sa revenues na binibigay namin sa inyo through uh, closer regulation and uh, licensing. Don sa cockfighting. Your uh, internally uh, generated income is not yes. retained. Uh, are we, you allowed to retain it now? We give it to the general fund, no? Treasury, Bureau of Treasury. Every year. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you're not allowed to keep a part of it. No, no? use of income, mm -hmm. ma'am. Okay. Uh, then so 151. 3% of 3% of, 3 of uh, gross receipts on uh, tickets for professional sports, uh, basketball, and uh, on I the have TV to go rights. to the CA. Maybe, yes, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Chair Bang. Yes, Just give me your priorities. Uh, I'm not sure if the whole amendments can be. Yes, are accepted because we, we need to find 50 billion to fund the Free Education Act, which is a priority that's already a law. It yes, doesn't mean that we don't give games and amusement uh, importance, but we will try and um, just give us, please, your amendments that you. Yes, ma'am. Well, we will. It has been uh, received by your office, ma'am. It's already with our office. Apo. Yeah. Yes, okay. uh, Madam Chair. Okay. Um, with me, Commissioner Edward Trinidad and Commissioner mm -hmm. Marma yes, Sangit. Hello. Okay, thank you very much. And we, Thank you. Uh, we, we approve your budget subject to the increases depending on the availability and also in our discussions um, on where we can get it. Thank you very yes, much. Thank okay. you very much. Mm. Good afternoon. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you, Dean Samir and Daman.